So are lash services dead? I saw a video this morning and I was unable to stitch it. I'm gonna try to link it below, but basically it was a lash tech talking about how services had slowed down. And I'm gonna give a different perspective because I'm an accountant who provides fractional CFO services to multiple six and seven figure salons. And so what I see is on the financial side of things. So here are three things that I notice as an accountant for multiple six and seven figure salons that mark to me that that salon is going to be successful. And I really do not think that lash services, nail services, salon services are dead. I do think we are, are in a slight economic downturn, but in the grand scheme of things, people need things like their lashes and their nails done just to feel good about themselves, just to give themselves a little happy. So I do not think this industry is going anywhere. And if you're a multiple six and seven figure salon that needs a fractional CFO, that's not only going to do your financial reporting for you, but also help you understand those numbers and use them to increase your revenue and meet your goals, hit me up. So the number one thing that I see in the salons that are successful are one, they are at least three years old. Anytime you start a new business, it's going to be a little bit of a rough go the first one to five years. The second thing that I see is these salons stay in their lane. They are known for a certain thing and that is primarily what they offer. For example, if they are known for their lashes, they provide lashes and lash education. They're not branching out into a bunch of other services. Now they may have eyebrow waxing and things that go along with having um, your eyelashes done, but they're not out there saying, you know what, we're gonna add a blow dry girl. You know what, I think we're going to now do manicures. Unless they have multiple providers in a big salon setting, they are sticking to the thing that they are known for. And the third thing that I see is these women are driven by the data and their numbers. They are making CEO level decisions. They don't just drive the Lincoln Navigator and have the Gucci purse. They are investing their money into retirement. They are reinvesting in their business. They are investing in their employees and they are investing in training. They are focused on the things that are going to bring them more revenue in the future, not just cost them money now. So if you have any questions about this whatsoever, if you have another thing that you've noticed about successful salons, feel free to drop it in the comments.